Today, I'll show you how to remove the small arrow icon on your desktop shortcuts, making everything look cleaner. This works for Windows 10 and 11. Let's get started. First, go to the search bar at the bottom and type in RegEdit. Click on the Registry Editor. Once the Registry Editor opens, look to the left and find HKey Local Machine. Click the arrow next to it to expand it. Then, go to Software and expand it. Next, scroll down to Microsoft and click on it. Keep scrolling until you see Windows, then expand that. Click on Current Version and find Explorer. Right-click on Explorer, go to New, Key, and name the new key, Shell Icons. Press Enter when you're done. Now, inside Shell Icons, right-click, go to New, String Value, and name it 29. Press Enter. Double-click on 29 to open it. In the Value Data field, type percent sign W, I, N, D, I, R, another percent sign, then a backslash, make sure it's a backward slash, not forward slash. System 32, make sure the S is capital. Then backslash, shell 32.dll, comma, the negative symbol, and then 50. Make sure it's typed exactly, then click OK. Now, minimize the registry editor window. You'll see we still have the arrow icon there. For that, go down to the taskbar and search for task manager, then open it. Scroll down to find Windows Explorer, right-click it, and select Restart. Once it restarts, you'll notice the arrow icons on your desktop shortcuts are gone. And that's it. Now your desktop looks much cleaner without those arrow icons on your shortcuts. Sometimes, Windows encounters an error like the one on my screen where the shortcut arrows disappear, but black square icons appear instead. This happens because Windows can't find or load the specified icon file correctly, so it uses a default black square as a placeholder. If this happens to you, open the Registry Editor, double-click on the 29 entry, and clear the Value Data field, leaving it blank. Click OK to save the changes. Next, minimize the Registry Editor, open Task Manager, and scroll down to find Windows Explorer. Right-click on it, select Restart, and you should see that the issue is now resolved. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and share it with anyone who might find it useful. For more tips and tricks like this, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Thanks for tuning in, and see you in the next video.